is our tastic, and today we're going to create an out of this world pizza. So grab all your mark making mediums and let's make some art. We're going to begin our pizza from out of this world by starting off with the out of this world part. Now, this is an astronaut pizza, and in order for this pizza to survive in space, it needs something to keep it safe. So we're gonna give it an astronaut helmet before we begin. We're gonna give it a lovely sweeping curve line for the top brim of the helmet. Then we're gonna draw two round sides. And we're gonna draw a parallel curve line back in. Next, we're gonna draw the bubble of the helmet. So we're gonna draw up, around, and down for a nice, large arch, okay? Now we're also, at the very top, gonna to add just a nice slice of pizza. Just kidding, it's a curved triangle, and that's just for the glare of light. Now we're ready to draw some pizza. So we're gonna draw part of the pizza up there and then it's gonna come through here. So we can imagine that the pizza's head is up here with the crust and coming down in a triangular shape, we're gonna have the body. So we're gonna do the crust first. We're gonna start off on the side of the crust. And okay, so oval, wavy line, rounded line, wavy line for the crust. Perfect. We're gonna add a couple sweeping wavy lines in there just for some variation in color. And now we're gonna add some cheese to this pizza because he's an ooey gooey cheesy guy. So we're gonna start over here. I wanna leave a little bit of space for the crust to come down. So we're gonna start off where this line meets here. Wave it down. Add some gooey bits at the bottom for this pizza that's out of this world. Okay, so there's my cheese layer. And now we're gonna add some crust. So my crust is just gonna be a straight line that goes out on a diagonal and back up. And I'm not gonna see the rest on the other side. Okay, so we got some cheesy pizza that's floating out in outer space with its helmet. Now we're gonna add its face before we add the toppings and then go around the outline. So we're gonna draw a circle on either side of that cheesy part. In each circle, you're gonna draw a large circle and two smaller circles. A large circle and two smaller circles. And then carefully with whatever you're using to draw with, you're just gonna simply color in the last little areas and that's gonna complete your wonderful pizza eyeballs. Perfect, look at how lovely this astronaut pizza is looking. Okay, he needs a mouth. We are going to draw, or she, or it, whatever your pizza is. Okay, draw a nice oval, or you can do an arch with a U shape. Arch with a U shape. Oops, I drew on that. I'm gonna have to turn that into something. Mistakes happen, all right. Draw the letter M inside the mouth and then color in the rest of the mouth. Fortunately, I'm gonna be able to hide some of that boo-boo. It happens. We can't worry about mistakes. All right, let's give it some expression here. Draw some lines around the eyes, the mouth. Perfect. I love that my pizza has a nice battle scar there. Okay, now we need to add some toppings. So maybe you got some mushrooms on your pizza. You can add some mushrooms around your pizza. If you don't like mushrooms, should you add mushrooms to your pizza? Nope. So if you don't like mushrooms, you can ask for the mushrooms to not be included by not drawing them at all. You can add some jalapenos to your pizza. Maybe it's a spicy pizza. You can add some cubes 
of pineapple because pineapple is delicious. Unless, of course, you don't like pineapple, then don't add your pineapple. Whatever you want. So add all your toppings so your pizza is completely out of this world. And now, before we continue on the background, we are going to go around the shape with our markers. So we're just going to go around the perimeter and draw a nice outline. So I like to hold my mark making medium on the edge. You can do this with pencil too if you're drawing with pencil. You can totally hold a pencil on its edge and it's going to make a bigger mark. So I'm holding my marker on its side and I'm just going around the edge and it's going to make this pizza nice and bold. And it's going to make contrast so that way my pizza stands off the page because hey of course this pizza needs to be out of this world. Now because I can't, it's hard to draw there, I'm just going to simply rotate my page, stabilize that paper with the other hand, and I'm going to pull my marker around the curve. Center it again. And now we are ready to add a couple highlights. So add some curving rectangles there. And I'm also going to add another couple parts for glare of light. And my friends, I think we are ready to add some background detail to our pizza. Next, we're going to draw the elements in space. So you can go ahead and draw things like some planets. You can draw other things you might find in space, like stars. And you can do stars in a few ways. So we can have a normal star. You can have a burst. So we can do a triangle with smaller triangles on either side, back to large, small. And finally, a large one. You can also just do circles in the background and that will also create the illusion of a star. So you can do it in a few different ways. You pick what makes you happy. We can draw lots of different little planets or asteroids. Add an asteroid here and there. Okay, once you have all your background elements drawn on your out of this world piece of artwork, you are ready to color. So I'm just gonna use um, wax crayons and felt markers for coloring my picture, but you can pick whatever makes you happy. We'll use some black wax crayon for the background and I'm just gonna go and I'm not going to color the whole paper, but I'm going to color just the areas where there are elements in my work.
the remaining elements of our artwork. So grab whatever bright colors you have and let's add some art flavor to your out of this world pizza. Okay, so one thing you could do is to make the glass seem shiny and blue. You can add some blue outline to it. And go around the edge with that. And I love adding some different values, of course, with my wax crayon that really makes it look lovely. See how cool that looks? All right, let's do some crust. So I'm gonna use my various browns that I have. I'm gonna use a darker brown on the sides of the crust. I just love how nice and even that wax crayon goes on. It's so easy to color with. And of course there is no sharpening. Okay, so we're gonna use one brown and then we're gonna switch it up and add some other browns, or you could use orange or cream. I'm gonna add now a lighter brown. And now I'm gonna look and see what I got here. Oh, maybe I'll use this apricot color. That way I got some different values happening on the crust. Okay, now it looks like our lovely little guy here, he needs some facial elements addressed so we can add some blue around the eyes to make it look extra cute. We can color in that ton of course, we'll find our nice red. Color in that bright tongue. Can also use that same red. Maybe we're gonna add color in one of the planets. I can do dark red by pressing hard and then light red by pressing lightly in between. See how cool that looks? Wonderful. All right, let's find ourselves some cheese color. Mm. Oh yeah, this could be a good cheese color. So I always like to test out a little patch. I'll do a small sample before I start coloring the whole thing, and this definitely looks like a wonderful cheesy color.
All right, so finally we gotta add some shading and I'm gonna find a nice dark brown and we're gonna use dark brown to shade today. So we're gonna add some shading around the eyes on our pizza. So we'll go around the eyes with a nice dark brown around the mouth you can do and along the bottom of the helmet. So anywhere there might be shadows, we're gonna add some shadows with some brown because of after all it is a pizza and we want to make that look realistic we can also grab a blue for some shading today so you can grab a blue for some shading and we can shade along the helmet to make it look like it's inside there And add some shading under some of that cheese where it meets the crust and you can shade under the crust where it meets the cheese wonderful and just like that our out of this world pizza is done Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.